Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, the previous episode. It was a sorrowful one. We sadly, we lost Diane and we lost to the Collector and we lost to my own, my own mistakes. Honestly, I made a lot of mistakes that last episode. I could have retreated, I could have played that differently, I could have not thrown my bandages away, but it's a lesson learned and it's something I'll think about in the future. Honestly, in my own playthroughs and when I play Darkest Dungeon normally, I very rarely retreat, so it just it didn't come to mind and unfortunately I paid the price. It will be something I keep in my mind more in the future, but now we'll go in. I've already set us up a nice uh, build for our next boss. We'll be going in and fighting the Hag. And we do have some story connections to the hag here, so we'll be going in and uh, getting ready for that. And yes, let's get right into our new class as well. Here we are in the Cursed Estate. Now, we only have one new recruit today, but it is a very interesting one. We have the Monk. As you can see, they're already trinketed up. They're going to be going out with us today to uh, take on the hag. Uh, I thought it'd be interesting, but this is uh, Kaminari. Cam Kaminari, Kaminari, that's it, sorry. Uh, and this is by Unstable Strafe. And this is kind of like... Kind of structured like a poem sort of thing. It's very interesting how this is structured. An old man wanders. He seeks an answer of truth mortals are denied. Named lightning by all for he strikes. The sound follows quick like ages flow. Abandoned youth seeks a higher powers. He seeks higher powers, loves eternal waiting. Perhaps this dungeon consumed with many horrors. The location he seeks. Very interesting. I like the uh, the setup there for the uh, the backstory, but he's going to be definitely someone that we're going to have to keep an eye on, and I'm I'm really looking forward to trying him out today. Uh, we do also have quite a lot of um, quite a lot of diary entries this week. Obviously, um, a death really does uh, take the toll on people, and um, we do have some uh, some backstories here. But yes. Um, again, one written here by Unstable Strafe. This is an entry for Dismas, our highwayman, who actually came in with Renault. Something about that Vestal's death has Renault uneasy. Looked like he knew her, that might, though I might be imagining that. And then I, I believe we also have um, a diary entry from Renault himself as well. The death of Di Diane has me uneasy and a bit sick. It's like I had a fond memory of her, but I do not recall. I will just head to the penance hall and call it a day. At least God's grace... Um, at least God can grace her with a happy afterlife. Okay, that's really, really nice. So people are paying their respects for Diane. She was only with us a short time, and it was an unfortunate death, but it does happen. It does happen from time to time. And also, um, we have yet another one to start the day off with as well. Uh, Rune, our bogatier, you might remember... Um, he, uh, he, one, of his, one of his crew members who he swore was dead made it back, uh, and that is um, Bethold. And he says, I cannot believe my eyes. I cannot. There's no way this is possible. I checked each and every one, and yet I saw him out the corner of my eye, wandering around the hamlet. Bethold has survived. So these two have noticed each other, and I'm sure there's going to be some interaction with these two as we go along. And I'm really looking forward to, to them getting to know each other, and especially going out and fighting together. That's, that's certainly going to be... Um, going to be an interesting group to work with and those two actually do um do complement each other's abilities quite nicely but yes uh, let's let's go over uh, to embark and we'll take a little look at who we've got going on here so today we'll be taking on the wise and hag we'll be doing that for um a very rare um thrall trinket which is going to increase our opposed bleed chance and damage uh we're taking the manslayer ring which is going to lower dodge but increase our damage by to humans by a lot so definitely going to be good on those low dodge characters anyways and then we also have strike Strikers Braces, which is a lot of extra damage and accuracy on the first round, but minus accuracy after that. I think pairing that with something that increases accuracy could mean a very powerful first wave, and I'm, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that. But on our group, we have um, Kaminari, and he is coming with us mainly because he's got Dragon Tail here. Uh, this is going to allow him to hit the Hag in the back line with a pretty strong attack, uh, and he also has his Mantra here, which is going to party heal buff protection it's going to lower his dodge and protection um but it is going to activate repost as well so definitely looking forward to using that and he also has um inner heal oh sorry no this isn't the one that activates repost this is the one that activates repost this is a self heal with a chance to stress heal activates repost this one just actually buffs repost's crit chance um oh sorry no all skill all skills except repost i really butchered that either way going to be very useful using his repost and um, we're taking him in with uh slightly reduced dodge he already has decent dodge um 
a lot extra accuracy and a bit more crit and then we're giving him the extra 10 maximum hp and protection to try and keep him alive we're then bringing out um amaris our mitre um i think amaris with a 47 hp relatively decent healing and this ability right here she's gonna be able to buff herself for 76 percent protection and lower her dodge she's going to be tanking a lot of hits for us and we've also got some some clear avenues here to um to stress heal we've got stress minus 10 here self stress uh, reduction and also a repost there as well uh then we have red i'm thinking red's going to be interesting because with red we can uh we can get off a lot of bleed and again activate repost you might be seeing a theme here uh repost is going to be very useful and um, we also have the force guide by ally uh, reducing stress and increasing the crits and um Minus and crits received, which actually be kind of a good synergy between these two. Um, by the way, just just in ter in terms of trinkets, we've got the minus stress, increased accuracy, lower dodge. Uh, we don't really need him to dodge anyways. Increased healing, and then here we've got the uh, the slime jar and a harlot only trinket, the mirror and powder puff, which is going to give. A little bit less move resist, but a whole heap of dodge, which is going to be really, really nice. And as you can see, these guys are really, really good for um, for, for quirks right now. We've got two here that only have positive quirks. And then finally, we have sixth, or otherwise known as 666, uh, coming with back tracker and tra uh, tracker. So very, very fitting of this guy, tracker. Um, fortunately, he's getting a little bit lower crit chance. Doesn't really use range and stun. Uh, resist is a little low, which is fine. Um, we're going to be mainly using the combo that we normally use. Keep him in the back line, start off with a bird of prey, and then feral cuts to pull back. Um, and then he's coming down with the extra scouting chance and trap disarm, as well as a slight amount of crit to make up for miss the spot. It's not the best. We might want to maybe go for dodge on him, but I'm thinking he's going to be a pr pretty good one to have in this slot and that's going to be uh, a really good place for us to go so let's uh let's get right into this okay we are going straight to the boss here so i've not gone overboard on supplies i may have gone a little overboard on food but i tend to think that going overboard on food isn't exactly a problem with our uh, bigger stack sizes i'd rather go overboard than have less than i needed so we'll go in here and see how this goes but the general gist of this is going to be that uh Kaminari, um stays up front he uses dragon tail to strike then we activate Repost here and um, Iron Shroud to keep ourselves buffed, make sure no one's stressed, things like that. We bleed as much as we can with Red. Um, and then Sixth is going to be Bed of Prey striking. He can also use his um, Spirit of the Hunt if someone really needs a stress heal and a maximum health heal. Which is actually going to be really good for, uh, for um, our two main damage dealers. A nice bit of uh, damage. And then we've got a scout Scouting Chance of 35% into the wield we go wield is notoriously difficult um but i think we'll have a good time i'm gonna take one extra herbs as well actually i remember herbs being fairly useful in, in the um and so actually we've already got one extra herbs maybe we'll take one extra we'll take one extra poison and let's try this out and see how this goes i had collected many rare and elusive volumes on ancient herbal properties and was set to enjoy several weeks immersed in comfortable study my work was interrupted, however, by a singularly striking young woman who insisted on repeated calls to the house. Okay, let's get into this. Uh, we do have another diary entry that we can go through while we're uh, while we're here. Um, this one is an entry for Prisoner Ten um, slash Harathan, written by Harathan, our Forsaken. That suit, something about it is familiar. It's my reanimated state. I can glimpse partially into the vessel. I can tell that it isn't one of the abominations we are fighting. It's a human soul bound to that steel, and a broken one at that. It's a very interesting insight into our Hollow Knight Prisoner 10 there. Okay, so of course this is um, this is our boss, so we know for a fact it'll probably be here. It could be there. No, 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 it has to be here. It's always the furthest point away, so we can, we can go straight for that. And we would have been better to bring the medical herbs, actually, now looking at it. And we are going to get some extra food there, which is going to mean that we can use our, ho use our food a little more regularly for healing. So we'll go for a, a punch straight off the bat. Um, we're not going to be able to get a kill here. So I'm just going to go for the strike. Not exactly the most damage, but it is going to increase our dragon... Uh, uh, everything's crit chance apart from dragon tail. We'll activate our opposed straight away here, get a little bit of bleed on you. 
Uh, these guys' bleed resist isn't great, so... And then we can Bed of Prey, and we're just going to keep striking this guy because he can deal the most damage. We can get blighted by these, but I think for the most part we'll be okay. Uh, we'll activate Repost. This is going to uh, heal and stress heal. Of course, no one's got stress right now, so we're fine. And then that Repost there is going to activate that, which is very, very nice. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, so if we don't use Dragon Tail here, we can get a crit, but I am going to move ourselves forward here. And, um, yeah, we'll finish you off. You would have you would have bled, but I'd rather get you out of the way now because you can hit so hard. Uh, and then we'll Feral Cuts here and move ourselves back with Prowl. And that's going to be the combo that we use for Sixth here. He's going to be very, very useful for that. Um, we'll just go for the Repost again. You've got to remember as well that when we use the Repost, we're going to be getting Death Blow Resist, which really, really helps for us. Really, really helps indeed. Um, how much bleed do you have on you? You have only one. Okay, so we're going to need a, a big hit here. If we can hit for nine, ooh, eight's not quite going to do it. We can probably finish you off with this, though. Nice one, red. Nice one. And there you go. Get a, get a few gems going on. We are still running with the uh, slightly more money for our gems, just to hopefully speed up the process of the series a little bit, even though we're doing more regular episodes. That might be turned off in the future, though. It depends how we feel. Um, nice bit of gold there. If we feel we're getting too much gold and the game's getting a little too easy, then we can always turn that mod off. It's just going to give us a little bit of a jump start. Make the series a little more interesting to play, but also hopefully a little more interesting to view for you guys. Um, so we'll make sure we keep at least one bandage and one anti-venom to, to prevent what happened last time. Getting the surprise there is very, very nice for us. Um, that is going to move us back one. We don't want that right now, so... We're just going to go with Bleed on you, I think, and activate the Repose. That is going to push you back slightly as well. And there's the Jara Slime activating Kaminari. Can you get a kill here? You can indeed. Well done. A big kick right to the dog's face there. Very, very helpful. We'll keep on activating that Repose. Seems to crit quite often. Has pretty high crit chance. We'll go for the dog. There you go. Nice one. Well done, Six. He knows how to fight here. He, he, has, he has been... Living in this place a long time before he uh, before he came back up to the surface into the hamlet, he understands these creatures well, and he he knows how to deal with them. So, of course, you can see that he's doing very well, very well indeed. Um, how much bleed do you have on you? Three. We can't kill you here, so we'll do that, and that should kill you now. Yeah. Um, we still don't need to stress heal. We're going to keep activating repost here. Of course, our health is a little low. We don't have. Many ways to heal ourselves here, but it should be fine. Um, in fact, we can maybe eke off an extra turn here. Um, yeah. We'll just put that on you for now. We can maybe eke off an extra turn here. Also, we can do this to reduce stress. Reduces the stress we take. Very, very nice. Um, so let's try and get a self-heal off here. Hopefully this doesn't blight us too much. Nice. Self-heal. Which one is the self-heal? Um, self minus stress. Yes, yeah, this one here. It's going to buff us up quite nicely. Mark us. Keep us going. We'll just do this again. Reactivate our stealth here. And we should be fine to, to finish you off. And that's a big crit there from uh, from Red Ahala. Very, very nice, Red. She is getting well versed. She's, she's, she's doing well. She's doing well. Better than I would have expected for her. Um, I don't know. I just think that, that Red might not have been as good in combat due to her nature beforehand. Not being as combat centric. But she seems very, very well versed at even against these monsters. Right, nice heirlooms there. Yeah, we'll probably, we'll probably uh, just camp the, the room before. Ooh, unfortunately, he uh, Sixth did, did take on a trap there. He did get trapped. Unfortunate, especially considering he knows this area so well, you'd think he'd uh, he'd be on the lookout, but I think he's let his guard down. No one will come in up against the hag soon. Maybe he's a little less um, a little less prepared. We'll set up a, a repose here straight away. And we are getting marked here, which isn't great. We can set up a repost again, though, and we'll probably go for you. Oh, unfortunately, the resist there. We'll get the bird. There you go. Bird against bird. Dead meat, we are going to take more damage from the parasites. Hmm. I'm going to I'm gonna do this. I'm going to mark myself, get us, get us all fully healed up and up our protection by a whole hell of a lot. And see if we can take on a few more of those hits. Because Amaris can definitely, definitely take them on. Finish you off. Good, the bird is gone. We might get a... 
No, we didn't. Could have got a parasite there, but luckily we, we were okay. We can also use our block here if we wish to. Um, counter a hit. I think genuinely that would be a good idea for right now. Let's get our block set up rather than pulling us back. So that's going to be another repair set up. And, and essentially now we have, a, we have a group where every single member of the team can set up a repair, which is very, very powerful. Very, very powerful indeed. We'll get a feral cuts on you. We'll move you to the back again. Prepare for it. And those blo that block will, will last. So, Unfortunate miss there by Red. We're going to keep trying to strike this deer. The deer can be pretty pretty brutal, especially if it uh, goes for its big hit. Luckily, it's not really going for it yet. Should be fine there. Ooh, lovely. Look at that stress heal. This is why we love Amaris. Amaris is so good at keeping everyone reduced stress. When when, when she takes on the hits, uh, the group the group knows that, they, that she's got their back and they can be safe. Unfortunately, we can't strike here. Let's just go for you then. Buff your damage a little bit. And we'll buff our Death's Blow Resist just in case. We are marked here, so we are going to take a bit of extra damage. Um, yeah, bear to pray. Unfortunately, we can't do anything. We did take down a body there, though. Might be able to block a hit. Um, we'll go for the self-heal here. Activate the repost again. And shouldn't be too bad here. We should be able to take you out fairly easily. Oh, look at that. Uh, let's go with the, the heal here. That's going to increase our stress slightly. It's going to heal for one to two. I think we have a better... Yeah, we have a better heal here. Let's use this. Nice. It is going to put some bleed on us, but for the most part, it's fine. Nice crit there. Well done, sixth. And you know what? We'll go for the next cut, and this will probably finish you off. Okay, we're not going to look inside the tent, because I know that that can, that can give you some bad stuff, so I'm not going to go for the tent. I always find that I get the bad the bad one on that. I don't know what the percentage chances are, but I do not want to take the risk. We do have our first Exoplasm here. These can be very difficult to fight. A crit on Amorous here is going to stress out the group a little bit. We'll uh, we'll activate our uh, repose here. We'll, we'll get that going on literally everyone. Dog's probably dead. No, not quite, not quite. Okay, nice dodge there, Amorous. Um, oof, beautiful crit there, Sixth. He knows their weak points, and he will abuse them. He will abuse them. Lovely. And, yeah, repose on you as well. Finish off that dog. Sadly, not quite. Not quite. No rabies, please. We are going to get that repose to heal everyone up. We'll activate our repose here as well. This is crazy. Having a group where everyone has repose is... Repost, repose is, is very, very nice. Um, we'll go for the self-heal. Very nice. You're the only one that's got stress and needs a, needs a heal, so that works out. Okay, the dog is going to bleed out, so we'll keep going for the uh, the fungal scratcher. He's going to be the better one to take on here. Honestly, I think we can keep striking. Doesn't doesn't quite pull it off. We'll first again, this is going to heal everyone back up again. And one last strike. Yeah, this, this group is working very, very nicely. Very, very nicely indeed. Um, we have a snake charmer. Um, used gloves by the, the snake charmer trinket there. That's actually really good. That's just two straight up buffs. I'm happy to have that. We'll open up this luggage. Ooh, very, very nice. Right, let's pop in here. The promise of safety. Um, we, do have some, uh, we do have some maggots. Take on... I can never remember if the maggots are like... Bad? I think they are. I'm going to take them out because I'm pretty sure they can uh, blight us and we don't really want that. So we're going to try and take those out first. That should be fi you finished pretty much. Oh, not quite. Take out the bird. Bird v bird. I love using bird of prey against these um, these shriekers, shrieklings. Oh, lovely dodge. Everyone's everyone's on top form today. They have, they've come out prepared. Very prepared. I don't know why I went for that one rather than the front one. Couldn't tell you. Okay. No repairs there. Oof. A little bit of stress. It's okay. Finish off that maggot. Oh, my God. Died to the bleed anyways. That's okay. Unlucky Red. Red is having a few unfortunate misses, I will say. A few unfortunate misses here and there. Okay. Um, we'll probably finish you off. Got the low roll there, sadly. And, yeah, we can finish you off without moving here. Nice crit there. Even got some bleed. Not going to matter. This bird's going to decay and, and head off. We are going to get a parasite, though. 
sadly. Ooh, these guys are dodging this very nicely. And unfortunately, you resisted the bleed, but I think, I think you're pretty much going down, aren't you, guys? It's the crits with Amorous that's crazy. Just keeps on critting. And we keep on dodging. Wow. You need to go, sir. You need to go. And you're about done as well. Unfortunate. We're going to finish you off there. Nice crit there, six. Like I said, it's just it's, it's apparent that he knows what he's doing in this area. He knows how to abuse the weak points of these monsters. He has seen them before. He has survived with them before. And he can exploit them to the fullest of, of advantages, which is very, very nice to see. Nice. And let's take a look at this Agent Coffin. Little bit of extra gold. We get a bit of scouting here as well, which is nice. We do have a battle here and then some curios. We'll, we'll do the boss first and see how we come out. Okay, and we have a pretty clean clean ride to the boss now as well. Everyone's in position right. There you go. And the hag basically is going to be putting one of us in the pot. Apparently the pot's a bit of a red herring. We don't need to really pay, pay that much attention. We can, we can kind of ignore it. So we mainly want to be going for buffs here that are going to help us out. We've got so much food here. We can just take the stress heal. It's not even that much of a stress heal. Right, so um, that's brilliant. We don't... That's that's okay. Um, minus 45 stress there. That's, that's wonderful. Um, okay. Does anyone here have diseases? It's always something I forget when you when you bring out when you bring out this guy sixth he can he can do some work with people's diseases it's very nice so unfortunately we don't we can prevent nighttime ambush and um, produce a totem so we'll do that and we get uh, plus twenty five dodge if marked interesting and we can search for food and herbs I think we want to be going for the buffs here so extra damage and crit chance chances so you got just the crit chance and the stress you got crit chance and stress crit chance and stress damage and stress i'm okay with that and then we have a little bit of a uh, little bit of stuff left let's go with this one shall we ah oh, that's only one companion though hmm i think we'll do that on the monk anyways 15 dodge. Lovely. That's going to that's going to be really really helpful that is. And let's see how this goes. I'm a little uneasy here. This this could this could go wrong very quickly. Um certainly could go wrong very quickly. I think though we should be okay. Um we can give this totem to um to plus 25% dodge if marked. Will we lose a lot of dodge here? So I don't know who's going to be getting marked because you're going to be getting marked a lot, but you're you minus your you manage your dodge by sixty, so this isn't really going to help. Um, let's just buff you just in case. That they're they're really cool those those totems. Right, in we go. I think everyone's healed up. Everyone's ready. We're good to go. We're party ordered. Let's try this out. Hopefully, we don't get put in the pot too quickly. Nice hit there straight off the bat. Another beautiful hit there. Activates our post at least. Ooh, we are we are getting red into the pot. So let's do this here. Take on some of the hits. So we we can we can take her out of the pot by hitting the pot. I'm not sure if that's gonna be the best choice for us. We'll see, we'll see. Meat tender eyes. Nice dodges, guys. Nice dodges. Just gonna he's gonna do two No, no, we're gonna we're gonna do back one as well. I wanna I wanna be bad of praying. Although I don't know if we'll be able to here, you know. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna strike the pot now and try and get her out the pot. Um Yeah, we're gonna keep doing this. Up in your protection. 152% protection. Basically can't take any more than one damage ever. And there you go. Straight out the pot. That's what we want to see. Into the pot. That's our healer, but a lot of protection there. A lot of protection. We'll buff you up, Red. 
bit of meat tenderizing there. Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little worried for for Red's HP here. A big crit there helps out a lot, and pushing Red back is even nicer. Okay, that's fine. A little bit of stress is is fine by me. And we'll go with the the block encounter. Okay. We just need to kind of think about the HP, and there you go. A huge, huge, huge crit there, and Sixth actually landed the kill. Well done, Sixth. Landed the kill. What What a brilliant thing for, for Sixth. He's, he's going to be very, very happy about that. Um, both these are pretty nice. Forsaken having less, uh, having increased move resistance is very nice. Now... This is a little tricky. Do I want to go through this battle to go for a Curio stash? I mean, yes, I do. But at the same time, can we afford to? I mean... We've still got 10 food left. I think we should. If this did screw us up last time, I realised that. But now I, now I know that I can just retreat if things go poorly. But that went, that went incredibly well. There were a post action there. Especially on um, on our on our man sixth was was incredible, absolutely incredible. And there's our first food check. That should be our only one on the way here. I very highly doubt we'll get another. And everyone's pretty well prepared for this, I think. Yeah. So luckily we don't have a we don't have the same situation we had last time and getting a bloody uh, fight against the collector on our first room battle after a boss. That was terrible. Um. You're not going to die, so we're going to kill you. Okay, we'll probably put block up on, our, on on us at the front here. Activate that and get ourselves a little bit of healing. I love that skill. It's so good. Mm, I didn't realise. He's going to be taking quite a lot of damage here, Six. Uh, let's go for a party heal. And we'll go for a targeted heal. Well, it's less of a targeted heal, but we'll go for a heal like this. There you go. Feral cuts. Strike back again. Get ready for uh, bed of prayer. That is going to move us back. Oh, that was that, that was a bit dumb actually. I just realised we're not going to be able to use bed of prayer now. I think it was better to get the bleed set up, but obviously not. Yeah, as you can see, taking one damage here. Very nice. Um, do this. Push you back. Get look at that. The, the slime jar critting. It's huge. It gives us a stress heal and a, si a heal of six. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, try and take you out. A big crit there. Kaminari. It is Kaminari, isn't it? Kam Kaminari. I keep saying Kaminari. Kaminari. Right. We'll activate our repairs here as well. Even though we're stealthed. Yeah, so you keep striking Amorous. Amorous definitely cares. <laughs> Certainly cares. And let's take you out. Another crit. That 7% crit chance is huge. Absolutely huge. And we'll even give you some damage as well to finish off this last guy. Nice. Everyone heal up a little bit. Everyone's already full health. It's only Amorous that's got taken any damage. And that's a miss there as well. Lovely. This is... This has gone well. Another crit. Ooh, not quite. Not quite. Not today. But Red's getting back in there. Throwing those daggers. Setting up that bleed. That's what we like to see. And there you go. The bleed takes over. Let's go and check out what these curios are. We ain't gonna need. Um, we ain't gonna need our uh, poison removal as much now. We certainly ain't gonna need this. These shovels, although that doesn't do anything apparently. Thought it would. Apparently not. We've got emeralds here. We can get rid of. Hmm. Get rid of the torches, honestly. Take that. Just in case this battle in here has got a curio that we want to use something on. There you go. We've got a surprise here. And Red, you can get the dogs. That'll probably... Ah, oh, not quite. I always think that'll kill, but it won't. There you go. Better prayer kills the other dog, though. And we'll, take, we'll try and take you out as quickly as possible. This deer can be a huge problem. We'll set this up. 14 crit heal. Absolutely love it. Does does the crit chance here affect heals as well? I think it does, doesn't it? It's beautiful. Very nice to see. Critical heals are my favourite. 
Ken Kaminari has really shown off his uh He's shown off that he can he can stand up with the rest of them. He really can. He's doing great stuff. Ooh, unfortunate mistake by Red. Red's been rel relatively inaccurate today. Relatively inaccurate. That's not been great. There you go. Take that out. And I think this is just a, a buffs damage sort of thing. I'm pretty sure. I'll do it anyways. Oh, there you go. Meat quirk removed. I don't know what quirk that was, but... Glad to see it gone. And there you go. That's uh, that's our first adventure today. And that was a really good one. We're going to be getting some good trinkets out of this. Going to be making our Thrall better. In fact, Striker's Braces might be pretty good on Thrall as well. I'm um, going to be interested to see that come together. Nice amount of money. Contract Killer. Extra damage versus marked. Lovely. Red's getting Sharpshooter. Extra damage and accuracy for position 4. She can definitely work from position 4. And... Um, less bleed duration. That's amazing for Amorous here. That's 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 wonderful. That's some really, really nice stuff to see there for the group. Um, we do have um, a Seeker of the Light. We're not going to take him on because he'll be level 0. We're going to try to avoid taking on level 0 from now on. Um, and we're just going to check here, do we have any swaps that we're doing right now? Do we have any swaps? I think our Ermin Seeker is getting swapped. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's bring you on. And um, name you more Morgana. And we're, we're, we're leaving Morgana. As long as she's not got any trinkets on her. And there you go. We've got a level 2 Morgana now. Um, I think our Burgertier, um rune is already level 2. He is indeed. Yeah, we'll keep, we're keeping that one then. He's not getting anything terrible. Um, unless, let's, let's, let's just check. Ooh, yeah, we, we don't want him anyways. We don't want him anyways. I'm fine with the group we got there. Uh, and are we taking anyone on? We could take on an Ironclad, I suppose. Ironclad's an interesting one. He's sort of a, a mech-wearing sort of guy. Um, minus two speed. That's kind of it's kind of bad. He's got some cool setups here. Hmm. I don't know if we're taking on Ironclad or not. We'll leave Ironclad for now. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we've got like a good group set up. We'll leave him for now. Uh, we do have um, we do have something new here. We have the uh, the butcher's circus trinkets. They are very very expensive, as you can see, but they're also very good. Uh, they're going to be very interesting once we can get round to affording those at some point. But let's uh, let's take a look at what we're doing for our next adventure. First of all, let's sort by level and make sure these guys all have their uh, trinkets taken off of them. We don't want to accidentally leave a trinket on one of them and uh, forget about it. Apart from class specific ones, class specific ones can stay. There you go. And uh, let's let's see what, what we're going to be heading out to and doing next. So we have the Siren, which still needs doing. We could get uh, the Exorcist only uh, trinket here, which would be 40% damage versus marked, 25 stun chance versus marked, plus 20 um, move skill chance, but a lot less chance to crit. And then we could get the Baneful Castings. That's pretty interesting, that. And then we've also got this as well. Hmm, okay. They're both very interesting. In fact, these two pair very well together. If we can think of a good group to go and do the Siren now, it might be an interesting idea to go straight for the Siren here. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing that, but it might it might well be the uh, the best idea for us. Honestly, the, the Light in the Night is really nice, and this is very good too. Um... In fact, these two pair very well together as well. The Sauron Prophet is a little harder for us. The Siren, I'm really thinking the Siren could be quite good. Uh, I need to think of a good group. So you need one person that's pretty weak, but has like loads of um, like really low debuff resist. Because they're going to be taken by the Siren more often. Um, interesting. This is, this is going to be a little tough one. I think I'll uh, think on this, and then we'll start back up and probably do the Siren in this episode as well. Okay, I think I've got a good group together for the Siren. We have Maggie, who we have used recently, but she's going to be very good with her healing and blight. We then have Ryan, who is um, going to have a pretty good heal, along with a very, very nice uh, bit of extra Eldritch damage, which is going to be good against the Siren, apparently, which is very, very nice. We've got um, our Forsaken Harathan, who is going to be the first time out. He's one that I'm concerned about. He has the lowest debuff resist, which means that he should be the, the one that gets taken the most by the Siren. Um, 
The only problem being that he has extra damage versus Blight and the ability to Blight Party. So what I think I'm going to do is we're going to use him as normal, but then when we get to the boss, we're going to switch out his abilities. Um, just so he has less of a chance of, uh, of causing so much pain. And that should be the better way for us to deal with that. Um, then we have up front Rinaldius the Dragon Slayer. Just because he's strong, he can uh, guard ally, activate repost. Uh, he's got his Lightning Impale. He's got his um, Sacred Earth as well, which is always nice. And that's going to be a fun little one for us to go with. Let's get everyone trinketed up. So, um, I think Rinaldius, we're probably going to go with the accuracy and, uh, and damage. Along with the crit chance as well, I think. Yeah, um, with Harathan, we'll go with the protection, um, and we've also got this as well. Less healing received, but he is way harder to move, which is nice. Um, his, his abilities, his move resist is, pretty, is decently high, um, but his moves are very, very centric around being up front. Very, very centric. So, yeah, we'll go with that. The slight less, slightly less healing received could be problematic, but I think we'll be okay. In fact, what we might want to do is put this, put this on him and give him the give him the slime jar, just so he's getting his own healing as well, which is going to be very, very, very nice. Then Ryan here is going to get the healing buff as well as um, as well as the accuracy. To be honest, he needs accuracy. He he does have very low accuracy attacks, so he'll go for the less stress and more accuracy. Um, now, do we want to take any of the, the, the trinkets we got recently? Extra speed for less max health is nice. Um, speed of one. Maybe we could try and buff up your speed a lot. Is Do we have much that we can use to buff up speed? Uh, or should we just go for things like Blight Skill Chance? We'll go with Blight Skill Chance and the uh, maximum health and protection there. I think that's going to be the, the best situation for us here. This should be a pretty good comp, I think. Um, we could go with the damage on range skills. 20 damage for range skills. But we, we don't have his range skills really on here. So I'm not going to bother with that. There's only one skill that really affects. And this is going to be the best the best build for us here. Now, like I said, I am a little worried about um, Harathan being taken predominantly. We'll try this out and see how this goes. This could be dangerous. The The siren is difficult, but we have to take some risks and we have to just, just go ahead and see what we can get done. So we'll pretty much bring the same supplies as last time. We're bringing 18 food, 4 shovels, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, um, and we bring 18 of those. I am, however, going to stack up on these even though, I almost guarantee it'll be a waste. I'll bring two more of them as well. Um, and one more of them. One more of them. Uh, like, I have a feeling it'll probably be a waste. We probably don't need that many. In fact, we'll take eight. We probably don't need that many. But we've got the money. And if we do get plagued by Harathan, we need to be able to deal with it. We need to be able to deal with it. So, let's uh, let's see how this goes. My lofty position wasn't always accompanied by the fear of office. And there was a time when I could walk the streets or raise a glass in the tavern without concern for molestation. Fateful as the tide, one precocious village waif made it her hobby to shadow my every errand. It was charming then. Troublesome later. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we also have a diary entry here from Isaac, our plague doctor. I heard of a newly found kind of leech escaping from the sanitarium. I've been turned away from entering multiple times due to my past actions, but perhaps this is my chance to see what secrets may lie in that syringe-filled box called a building. Interesting. Interesting. Right, let's carry on. Got quite far to go here. Uh, something I didn't check is... We, we do have Prevent Nighttime Ambush, and it's a cheap one as well. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, that's all I need to know. First person I checked had it. So, Rinaldius, of course, is trying to redeem himself in going to the curve here. He did, sadly, sadly let, um, let one, of his, one of his fellow members fall. Kronos was brought down here and did not make out alive. And I think Rinaldius, he feels definitely terrible about that, and he is uh, trying to... Trying to repent, trying to, to make it back up and see if he can see if he can be okay. Right, so we'll go for We'll go for this on the back two here. Nice hit there. Stress wave. 
Nice dodge there. Nice dodge. Ryan is, uh, is doing well. We'll try and take you out. Big hits there straight away. And we can actually just heart strike you. There you go. And that is going to heal us too. We do have a chance to cause disease here, which could be a problem, but we should be okay. And that regen is going to be super strong for us. We've got a block here. I don't think we have anything to get past blocks, to be honest. We should be able to deal with it relatively okay, though. The stress wave coming in. A little bit of stress on these two. We're going to use this again. And that is going to kill the stress dealer. Very nice. And... Yeah, let's just go for the strike. We don't have anything armor-piercing for right now. I think I think we do have this. It's armor-piercing. Uh, it's 20% armor-piercing. Okay. It's not a full armor pierce, but we can blight right here. And that is going to be a blight for um, 6 on you, which is going to kill you. And 6 on you, which is very nice. And the, the cool interaction, the, the main reason I put uh, Maggie in the same party with Harathan is he has this ability here. Boil blood. It will, it will armor-pierce. It will cure the blight, but it will deal 200... And 35% extra damage. Beautiful. So it does remove that uh, that blight, but it goes straight through his armor. It's very nice for us. We did take a little bit of bleed on there, and I'll probably heal that up when I get the get given the chance. Uh, we'll just go for a stab here. That extra accuracy is going to help us keep on target, I think. And we do have this free action here, so we'll do the free action. And then we'll heal you up as well, get that extra restoration going. And there should be a finished kill. Not quite, not quite. Ronaldo is taking another hit there towards the end. And there you go. Finish that off with a big crit. Nice one, Harathan. Ooh, interesting. We um we gained ourselves a succubus ring, which is gonna be nice for our succubus, definitely. Uh plus seven percent crits versus max ten accuracy. We also got fish eyes. Seems edible. Sort of. So we'll eat that on you, and that is gonna increase our maximum HP by eleven for three rounds by the looks of it. Oh, no, is that plus 25% healing skill? Maybe. I'm not sure which one that is. Either way, we've got a key for this. Let's have a look at the heirloom chest. Nice amount of heirlooms there. We're going to get some scouting early here, which is exactly what we need. We're get, we are going to have a battle. Um, we have a bass relief here. I think we can just touch this, and it'll give us... Yeah, we want, we want to get rid of that quirk. I think it just gives us a quirk or removes one. Stalker. 10% chance of monster surprise. Lovely, 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 lovely. I thought that was remove. I got it wrong. It's fine, though. Chop that down. Make our way through. We've got plenty of shovels to work with here. I think we've still got two left. Yeah. Should be okay here. And we, we have got some human enemies here. Um, unholy, human, unholy. So we aren't going to get too much extra damage off here. Um, we are going to just do this and try and get the double damage on the back, back line there. And... We can probably get a stun off straight away here. Lovely. Little bit damage, little bit less damage taken in, and then we'll set up for the blight for a little bit later. And we can actually blight them early here. Treasure link and nation. Nice dodge again on Ryan. Ryan is is doing very well on the dodges here. Ren for the old gods. Taking a little bit of a hit here. Wade Anke is going to push himself to the front, buff himself up, but we're okay for the most part. We are going to get Eldritch pull. You can't pull us. Can't be done. We'll finish you off. Lovely. Stress dealer is gone. Blight gets you as well. This is a great build. And now Ronaldius strikes. Oof. Not quite, but that is going to be him dead to Blight. I am I am liking this uh, this composition we've got going on here. And then we finish it all off with a group heal. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, we do, get, we do still get the group heal, don't we? We do. Yes, nice. And we are taking on a good amount of stuff here. Uh, we, can get rid of, we can get rid of that. Excuse me. Oh, it's right click, isn't it? Just, I thought it was shift click to delete something. Maybe not. Um, right, we can eat this on you. That's gonna give us virtue chance. Um, we can get busts and hmm, relatively dif difficult one considering we've taken on some uh, some some trinkets already. We don't really want to leave too much behind here, especially busts. Bandages are very important. Medical herbs. I do like to have them here because there's some curios that they can be very useful on. Keys are also good if we find a secret room. Hmm, this is a difficult one. We already have a blight stone. Let's get rid of the blight. I know that seems like a bit of a waste because we're kind of throwing away money here. And we'll leave that for now. Um, we're kind of throwing away money here, but honestly, it's fine. Uh, we're not going to take two of these, which is a shame. We need our shovels. We only have uh, two left, so we can't use both of them on that there. We get some scouting chance here. 
Nice. In fact, another one of these. Wow. Another one. Oh, my God. Could have done to brought some shovels. Honestly, we can go we can go around up this way back. God damn, that's that's a that's a really really high amount of uh, shovel based curios there. We should have brought a full stack with us. Apparently, it seems to be always the way in the curve. Sometimes it's very easy and you don't get much. Sometimes it's like tons. So I think this is a heal or a stress heal. Bit of a stress heal, yeah. I'm gonna get a first food check here. Head in. Yeah, everything's looking fine so far, and there you go. This is why we haven't been using our shovels. We could, they could, there could be more than one more. We, we could have brought too few shovels, to be honest. Um, it's very possible. We'll see, though. Um, and this is the exact reason we want to cure that. Minus 20 dodge, all that sort of stuff. We want to be getting rid of that. And there, another shovel-based curio. Apparently, it works with dog treats as well. By the way, I do have something that gives me curio hints. Basically, I've got that because it means I don't have to Google things and I don't have to bore you guys with that. Go for the double hit there. Um, we'll stun you straight away. Stop you from guarding someone. And we'll get to cooking straight away. Want to get that blight set up as quick as possible. Again, set up that blight. Everyone gets blighted there. Accusation. Gonna be taking a bit of horror. We don't have any loud loudenum, so we're not gonna be able to do much with that. And Harathan takes his first big hit. A bit of stressful incantation there. Yeah, we're taking a bit of stress. Ryan is, is taking the brunt of it so far. Eldritch pull, push. Nope, he can't move us. We are in a movable object. So we'll go for our first heal here. Nice one, resisted the bleed and got a pretty decent heal. Acquisition, a bit more horror coming on us there. Okay, and then. We'll get a chance to cook in a minute here, and that should be everyone dead when we get a chance to cook, I would think. That's going to be a, 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 yeah, that's, that's everyone apart from our big guy is dead. Very nice. That is why the blight is so strong. We'll go for a cut on you. Nice crit, Ryan. Nice crit. Uh, we might as well go for the hit here, even though it's a chance to cause disease. It's going to heal us up a little bit. And we found our second one of these now. Yeah, I'm ready to switch out. Okay. The timing. The timing. God damn it, those curios are so good if you have the uh, if you have the stuff to use them. Uh, trap this arm here. A bit of stress. Sadly, Ryan is, is really taking the brunt of the stress here. It's taking the brunt of it. Nice surprise there. That's going to help out a lot. Again, we'll go for the blight straight away. Um, we do have the ability to kill one of these, so I'll go for that nice one, Ryan. A little bit of a stress heal there. It's going to help. Um, we don't have the ability to kill here. We do, however, have the ability to stun. Let's go for a stun real quick. Did resist it, unfortunately. And the blight here sets us up very nicely. Ryan has dodged every attack coming his way thus far. It's only the stress that he's been taking on. At least that's something to be said for Ryan. He's learning. And there you go. This blight should finish everything off. We did contract overfeeding, which is a shame. Overfeeding isn't terrible, though. I believe it's 5% maximum HP, minus 1 speed. The minus 1 speed isn't great, I'll be honest. But we can deal with it. We can deal with it is the main thing. And these two are, uh, these two are just dead. And that one's dead to a crit anyways. Lovely. Nice one, Rinaldius. Um, And we'll Necroblade you for 12 damage. Lovely. Lovely. Very nice to see. And it looks like we've got a pretty calm route to our boss. We do have one battle beforehand. Means that uh, that here we're going to be we're going to be uh, resting easy, camping. Right, let's head into here. In and let's camp up. So, first off, Ronaldius. Yep, we can do that. So, first off, Ronaldius, you're going to take on the Prevent Nighttime Ambush. And then let's check uh, check what everyone else has got here. So, we've got um, extra melee skill accuracy and damage and speed and reduces spress. Spress. We've also got... Oh, we should have gone for that one. That's, that's two. Costs two for pre prevent nighttime members, although it does stress out. Um, then Ryan, 
You also have it. Wow. <laughs> Everyone's got to prevent nighttime ambush in this party. Uh. Okay. So I think we'll go for the self only um, extra dodge and speed with the one companion getting protection and damage. So we'll go with protection and damage on you. And then we'll also do this. That's, that's going to put these two in a very good spot. And then for just two... We can't really deal with stress, so let's take some stress off of you. There you go. Nice. Okay, rest easy. Prevent nighttime ambush there was, was very useful. And we're about ready for our boss. I'm still a little wary here. A little wary of uh, of what's to come. We've got to remember to change Harathan's uh, setup. So we'll go for the bloater first. Try and kill him. In fact, we'll go for the double and make sure he's dead. Very nice. Um, there you go. Boil blood. Start cooking here. Takes us two turns to get this off, but the cookie it is so valuable. It's so very valuable. Brian's going to hit us here. Nope, Ryan dodges again. Well done, you beautiful man. And we'll go for the Eldritch uh, damage on you there. Maggie does take a brief hit there. Starts to get rid of this big guy, whittle his health down. We can even go for another Necroplage here. I keep calling it Necroplague. It's not, that's not what it's called. I don't know where I've got that from, but just stuck in my head. Ryan's going to get that dodge there. That dodge improvement is helping out massively. And Ryan dodges another attack. Ryan is crazy. Well done, Ryan. Um, finish you off and you're dead to poison. Light kills you. And we can feed you that, which is going to give you some death blow resist for one battle. Uh, right, so... We do not want this on because we do not want to be poisoning everyone. Um, let's just go put Plague Strike on. Oh, we could go with this, which is going to... That's going to shuffle. We don't want shuffle on there. Um, and yeah, I'm fine with that. Is anyone else that has skills we really don't want on? Probably that. So we'll, we'll take off that and we'll... I do want that on, to be fair, but I don't want to be—I don't want to be taken. So I'd rather just put this on and and make sure we don't take too much damage off of this. This one here, uh, we've not been able to to use this, so let's go with um, let's go with this instead. And yeah, Maggie's looking fine the way she is. Okay, let's 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 get ready for this. This could be difficult, certainly, but we have two we have two different forms to heal, so I'm. I'm I'm relatively, relatively okay here. Uh, we're going to buff everyone to start. And, oh, that's a huge crit Ryan. 22. Beautiful. And there you go. Harathan's been taken straight away. I don't think anyone here has synergy with... Um, I don't think anyone here has synergy with Mark, so we don't need to Mark, really. Pressure crash. We are going to take some stress here. And he's going to play Carrier. Rousseau activates repair. That's fine by us. Nice strike there, Rinaldius. Devour. A little bit of bleed on us there. Another big crit. Yes, Rinaldius. Um, Ryan, sorry, not Rinaldius. That is a huge crit. She is going to spawn in some stuff. That's going to make it difficult for us. Blood boil. Luckily, it's not going to do too much to us. And we'll go for the cook, which is going to blight everyone, including including our own guy. But that's why we've got the anti-venom. What's your stun resist? 50%. Go for it. Oh, they did, did resist. Did resist. Song of Desire bringing Harathan straight back, but he resisted. Nice one. Another crit. Not quite a crit, but that's still huge. That's still huge. We'll activate that on you. We can't cook here. We don't have it left. Um, so... Let's do that. Just make you receive a bit more damage. Song Desire, bring Harathan back again. Worked out perfectly. I took I took who I wanted to take because he had low um, debuff resist. Ooh, my God. I was not expecting a hit of that caliber to come in there. And a heal of two really, really puts us in a bad spot. Really puts us in a bad spot. We're gonna have to strike you. Okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a tad bit worried now actually. So let's let's do this. Let's. I'm a tad bit worried. 
Pressure crash is fine. I can deal with the stress. Blood boils, fine. He'll be coming back to us next turn. Yep. Okay, that's fine. Song of Desire. Bringing over Maggie, which is interesting because I don't think she can do anything. 15 there. That's huge. Stun you. Try to at least. Pressure crash yet again. But we all dodged. Nice one. And there you go. That is going to be you pretty much over. You've marked us, which is not great, but I think we should be okay here. As long as Ryan can get his next turn off. No! A dodge! You can't be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. A dodge? You've been doing so well, Ryan. You've been doing so well. A dodge again? Oh, this is terrible. Come on, please, 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 please. Barnacle Barrier, that's not great. Okay, we get Maggie back. We can't do anything here. Let's go for the heal. We need to. Kill you. Oh, we're one turn away. Song Desire bringing Ranaldius over. That's bad for us, but we've got the kill. Great. Okay, that was stressful, but we did it. Oh my god, that was stressful. We're taking over some trinkets. We can bandage up, bandage up. E e e. E e e. E. We'll take that. And take that as well. Oh. That was stressful. Everyone, everyone talking a bit of stress there, but we've uh, we've done it. We've killed the siren. And I'm very, very happy with the results there. Today has been a momentous day. We've 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 got some really, really good stuff here. Having baneful casting plus heavy boots seems like it's gonna be a very interesting combo. Having having 40 protection on a unit is very good. And also this Exorcist one here is very, very nice. And Ryan is taking on the Hellbeast Slayer. Extra accuracy in crit versus Eldritch and Beast is great. Harathan's taking on extra accuracy versus bleeding. Gluttonous will eat anything to saturate the hunger. I mean that fits Maggie almost perfectly. She um she's gonna be consuming a lot of food. And she's gonna be getting extra damage while guarded. Um replaced brawler, and we also got static. That's fine. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's see who we're gonna be taking on. Lastly here, we do have one last diary entry coming in from our Snake Charmer Verona who's just arrived. This was shortly after arriving at the Hamlet. Today I arrived at the Hamlet. The journey was a long one. The skies darkened as I approached and walked through the surrounding forests left me uneasy. I went straight to the bar for a meal and there I met a lady m named Artemis. Her appearance was a pleasant contrast from the rundown buildings and unpleasant residents I had seen thus far and she was quite a friendly as well. I talked with her for some time before setting up a tent by the bar. I noticed some town folk mourning the loss of Diane. She was apparently lost to the hands of some headhunting monster monster in the Warrens. I should be careful to avoid that place if ever I decide to join an expedition. I don't plan on dying anytime soon. Great there. Absolutely great. Really, really good diary entry there. So we're going to want to be putting some people in for stress heals. Let's first of all get rid of our trinkets, make sure no one's losing any of those and any of the events that, that can occur. But that was, that was great. Ryan came through in the clutch there, dealing some absolutely massive crits at the start of the battle. That that helped out so much. But yes, uh, we are going to go for... Harathan's going to uh, pray to a higher power. And Maggie is going to um, find peace for meditation. And I think Ryan is going to go... Ryan's actually going to go to the bar, I think. He can't go to the bar. Um, he's going to the brothel. There you go. And them guys should be okay. Right, who are we taking on? Do we have anyone? We have a Sunlight Warrior. Here we go. And we have a new Ronin. We have a new Ronin. So our, our Flagellant is uh, is still level 1, I think. So taking on a level 2 Flagellant would be good. I think he's still level 1. Yes, he is. Jonathan Baker's still level 1. Um, let's have a look at what he's got, got on him here. He's got... Minus 15 damage versus Blight. Plus 5 crit versus Blight. <laughs> Le uh, less damage on the first round... Less healing and stress healing received, but we're going to have to do less up less upgrading with him, so I think we'll take him on. Um, and, uh... Power in the blood for those with the fortitude to pay the price. 
John Thon Baker. Great. He doesn't have any specific trinkets on him, does he? No, he does not. And then we'll just dismiss original Jonathan, trading them out. Um, so we have we have some interesting ones here, some interesting classes to take on. We have a Sunlight Warrior, which is uh, one of our new classes, which is very interesting. Um, got some very interesting skills, extra damage versus stunned. Uh, got a repurst here as well. Um, got some some stress healing and things as well. That's pretty interesting. Uh, we can take on a new Ronin, which is uh, Cro uh, Cronus' class that we lost recently, which might be a decent replacement. We can take on a Librarian, which has some very interesting skills, um, mainly in um, in buffing up Resolve XP, meaning that we can level up faster. And she does have some interesting, um, interesting stress healing going on here, as you can see. Stress minus six, buff party. I think we could make a Librarian work, so we'll take on a Librarian... And I think we'll take on the Sunlight Warrior as well. And that'll do us for today. Uh, do we want to be upgrading anything? Take anything on? Have a little look here. See if we want to do any sort of upgrades here. And what trinkets do we have available? We have a Dark Wraith only. Um, we, we should probably upgrade the, the trinket size here to at, least, uh, to at least six. And do you know what? We'll go with that as well, the price reduction. We don't have any upgrade chances there. We've got an upgrade chance here. Reduce the uh, reduce the cost by by a little bit. We can have a look at our blueprints as well. We have the ability to to make some of these at some point. We should really try and invest in the bank at some point as well. Maybe that'll be something that we save up for next. The bank is very very useful, especially getting into the later game when you have more money. Um, and we don't have any upgrades available there. We do have some here. We have some reduced treatment costs here, which would be nice. And we also probably have a very similar affair here. Yeah, we can't afford them ones though. But there, there are some interesting ones that we can go for. But I think now I'm going to leave it. And what we will do while we're waiting here is we will um, sort by level again. Wait a minute. Let's just take, uh, take Ryan out of this. Sort by level again. And let's look for some class-specific trinkets that we can give people. Just so we've got our inventory cleared a little bit. So what what class specific trinkets do we have? We have Forsaken, which we should have just left on, on our Forsaken to be honest. Wherever he is. There's Rhine. Harathan, where are you? There you go. We can give him that back. Because he's not that's not gonna be used on anyone else. Close that. Um so we have Duchess, which we do have a Duchess, so we can we can put that on um on Victoria. Where are you, Victoria? I have lost you, Victoria. Completely and utterly lost you. There you are. So we'll take that. Uh, extra speed, less stress. Beautiful. Um, then we also have our Thrall, wherever he is. Uh, we also have an Exorcist one here as well. That's going to be interesting. We especially want to try and synergize that with some stuff. Ooh, okay. Um, so we're going to be getting extra damage versus marked, extra stun chance versus marked. We're also going to be getting extra damage and accuracy versus marked. That's kind of an interesting synergy there. It's not intentional, but that works out quite nicely. I like that a lot. Um, we also have another specific one here for 8 dodge with minus 10 damage. I think we can work with that. Uh, we, our crit is very low for some reason. I don't, I don't know what's what's affecting our crit so much. Uh, minus 10. Oh, that's the, the trinket, isn't it? Basically reduces our, our chance to crit to nothing, which is it's fine, honestly. You can deal with that. But we'll mess around with his skills maybe in a, in a future episode. And Aaron can become um, pretty valuable to us. Let's check what other class trinkets we have going on. So we have Thrall, Dragon Slayer, Succubus. Succubus one there as well. Extra stuff against Marked. A little bit less healing received. We have... Some Acula, like the Sun, Apostate. We do have an Apostate here. Would he want to be taking on that? Apparently, that's... Oh, he's a Cataphract. What am I on about? Apostate's uh, down here. I, I, I don't know why I did that. Um, where is our Apostate? It's definitely getting difficult to find people. So, yeah. So, less accuracy, but a lot more stress heals. I love that. I'm definitely on board with that. We have an occultist one. Ooh, that's some, that's something we definitely should have taken on this adventure. To be honest, we we just used our. Uh, I'm sure some of you will point that out to me that we that we missed out on that ability. Um, yeah, we'll add, add that on you. I know that he's drinking. You can technically lose trinkets and stuff while you're there, but I don't think we will because I think I've got a mod that 
changes that. So I think we're, I think we're fine to even trinkets. We'll give that to you as well. Uh, we don't have a Houndmaster yet, surprisingly. And where's our Thoral? Where is Urku? Urku, where are you? I can't find Urku at all. Where is he? Oh, there he is. It's because I've got the levels the wrong way around. Now he has two uh, class-specific trinkets. That's nice. Good, good, good. And we can um, sort by rarity now as well. God damn, we're getting up there in, in the trinket <laughs> duplications over here. We've got quite a few of these. But that's going to be interesting. He is going to be super, super nice to, to, to mess around with um, with that. That repost ability is going to be insane. Using... Um, I believe it's this ability here, yeah. That's that. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to using that. But that's going to be the episode for today. A uh, really, really good one. A lot of good diary entries and character progression. And two bosses killed. We're getting up there in the trinkets and the money and progression. It's all going very well. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.